Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and this time I'm very excited to tell you about something from which I was really fascinated from. It's the Nobel Prize of 2023 given to physics and as far as you have guessed it correctly, it's auto second pulses of light. These are our honorable Nobel Prize laureates, Ferenc Kroos, Anne L. Hüller and Pyrie Agostini. I personally have a huge respect for these three to bring something so revolutionary in physics which would increase our knowledge. Now, what is an autosecond? First, the meaning of the word auto. It is actually a unit of measurement. The same way we use kilo, hectare, deca or milli, we use auto. Auto actually represents 10 to the power minus 18th of something. So obviously, autosecond means 10 to the power minus 18th of a second a quillionth of a second that's so unimaginable how short this time period is what happens is we have a detector a detector which produces autosecond pulses of light in an atomic medium by atomic medium i mean the electrons or the atoms which uh, which are gonna be studied we actually need a high intensity laser beam to pass through that you know to illuminate it and after the illumination, as the autosecond X-ray pulse goes through it, we get the femtosecond laser pulse. That are the actually the oscillations produced to the uh, autosecond laser pulse after it has passed through the electrons. And that whole graph is what we will study. So the main concept and objective of these three scientists behind this huge discovery is exploring the world of electrons inside the atoms and molecules and diving deep into the microscopic world we all know that nobody has ever seen electrons but these three nobel prize laureates have made it possible for us to study the velocity changes of the electrons or the intestinous state of an electron because actually if i say that ionization of an electron happens in an autosecond how can you measure it without this kind of discovery? But now it is possible. This machinery shown in this video clip is actually the huge machine which produces the autosecond laser pulses. It's really, really powerful. And what this actually does is shown in this diagram. We have an extreme ultraviolet spectrometer. A spectrometer is something which produces laser beams. And as it travels through, it comes to the atomic medium. And after that, we get the femtosecond laser pulse. Actually, femtosecond is another unit of a second and it is longer than an autosecond. So the laser pulse, the oscillations are actually produced in the femtosecond, which can be captured and then studied. We know that everything in this universe is made up of atoms and electrons. So there can be numerous applications of this discovery in all the fields of science. But the main three are the study of instantaneous state of electron and the velocity changes of the electrons which we have already discussed but the main the most important and the most helpful for the mankind is going to be the study of the molecules of biological samples i would take the help of the same diagram which i just which i had shown you in the earlier slides what if in the place of the atomic medium i keep the molecules of blood yes blood the cells of the blood and the molecules inside the cell we all know that cancer starts at a molecular level. Am I right? Yes. What if we are able to see what are the unusual things happening inside a molecule? We would be able to detect such huge diseases like cancer even before the first stage, only at the molecular stage. And this would highly decrease the number of cancer patients and uh, diseases in the whole world. This is how this huge discovery is gonna help the whole of humankind i must tell you all that i was really really fascinated and mesmerized by the creative minds of these three people they are very very honorable for me so thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe to my channel until then bye